This is uh, Morten from Inkis TV together with Jacques. We are here at our daily Bonjour program where we are welcoming some really nice guests. And uh, today we have uh, Julia from uh, Mecano Technica and Jacob from uh, HP. Welcome both of you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So how are you guys? Fine. A little bit tired, but fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was just about to say it's the third day and you're so lucky you're going home, right Jacob? Yes, yes. But super excited. A fantastic uh, two days and hopefully also today. So uh, I'm thrilled. And for both of you, it's your first time, right? Yeah, yep. of course. At Honkla? Yep. Yeah. So how has it been? Um, busy. Busy, but it's wonderful to be here. Lucerne is a wonderful city and the people are amazing. So... What's not to like, right? Except the temperatures, right? Except the temperature, too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and for you, Jacob, uh, I mean, first time as well. What are your first impressions? Uh, well, really, uh, as I said, I'm super excited. I've been at many trade shows uh, during my career at, uh, in the graphic industry. And this is, I must say, obviously we have waited a few years to get, be allowed to get into to trade show again. But uh, these Hongla days are uh, so super focused. And it, it's like uh, when you walk down the halls, it's, it's just high quality, high interest. So, so it's, it's, uh, it's really worth spending the time here together with super enthusiastic people. So um, really, really excited. We're just outside of hole one here, and if I look straight up, uh, I see in your booth. We're actually so, outside hole two. I'm um, sorry, hole two. You're absolutely right. <laughs> hole one is that way. Yeah. It's a morning show, isn't it? But anyway, I see, uh, I see your booth over there. And uh, tell us a little bit, how long have you been on, on, on the HP uh, organization? So April 1st, I will turn the first year. Uh, so it's, it's a, still a, a new organization for me. Uh, it's a huge also, also because it's huge, right? Also because it's an extremely huge organization with, with many different layers within the industry. Um, and see this page-wide, uh, let's say, division uh, working at full speed, at full extent. And um, it, it's really, as you say, you're going into the booth, seeing the things that we are presenting, not just from a equipment perspective, but also from a solution perspective. It really makes the thing be, become real. Uh, and, and especially uh, having the conversations with the customers coming there and say, okay, the discussion about is inkjet a reality? Will it change the industry? We don't have to have that discussion any longer. And it's it's a kind of interesting also because uh, your background, uh, you just you have worked in a, in a printing company, uh, being responsible for the uh, as a CTO basically, but you have also worked with Heidelberg, so you know both worlds basically, yeah. right? Yeah, it must be a huge advantage for you. Well, it is. I started my career, you know, as in a private print shop. Uh, went into to Heidelberg for 15 years and then as a CTO at a print shop in Denmark as well. So obviously seeing this from both sides, so why, how do we create value for the print buyers? Obviously, that's an advantage. Uh, I, can, I can give you an example of creating value and that is what Meccano Technica does, right? Because, I mean, I always love section soon books and that is like your speciality, right? Yeah, correct. In fact, we... Um, we brought here the universe web for the masterpiece for thread sewing, uh, for digital print finishing. So um, we are the uh, world's leader manufacturer in this sector. It's a niche, but we have a lot of customers interested in it. I was just mm -hmm. sorry. To yeah, yeah. I was one. I was wondering because it's equally sized booth almost everywhere. I yeah. mean, and you have a lot of equipment. Uh, have what you basically in, 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 the, in the suing of, of, of book blocks and, and so forth. So what, what is the product range that you're showing here? Do you have different models or have you diff different uh, machines have, that you're here on the phone? We have only our universe web because we prioritize our customers' needs. Uh, so we have the masterpiece of a full line uh, which can create books for the hardcover book preparation. And we have some samples uh, printed on Canon. <laughs> oh, you dare to say that, right? <laughs> you integrate different different brands, I guess. Yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah, um, and it's a hardcover book, um, a photo book. And then we have other production. Um, it was printed by Lego Digit, one of our Italian customers. And uh, the, the CEO was here yesterday. Okay. Uh, and was he satisfied? Of course, yeah. of course. Uh, and we are happy to be here. Yeah. Wanted to talk also a little bit, sorry, to put in about you, because also yeah. you are, I wouldn't say new, but quite yeah. new at uh, Mechanotechnica, so. Yeah, I'm in Mechanotechnica since January 2021, so it's two years. And, and as we spoke month. about in online, you just started when it was in the middle of the corona, yeah, right? Yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. but it was a great opportunity. As I told you, 
um, Mechanotechnica opened <laughs> its arms and uh, welcomed me. And uh, everybody is great, my colleagues are great, and there is a great team behind all these machines and our results, so I'm really enthusiastic. Jacob, um, I mean, you of course have a lot of experience in the industry, but uh, you have also, of course, been in the job market and tried getting uh, different positions in your life. I was just wondering, because a lot of people talk about how difficult it is to uh, recruit uh, new people and new talents to the industry. Do you have any ideas? I mean, because you see both sides of the industry, and I was just thinking maybe you have some ideas of how this can be turned into something that is uh, more interesting for young people. Well, I definitely see a change in the industry because what is talent today is it us, us old guys who knows a lot about ink and printing processes mm -hmm. or is it actually? Of course, there's always uh, a need for us. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of, of course, there will be, but I think like some God. of some <laughs> of the talent that we are definitely desperate of having into the industry are the the technical people. So walking around here, this this stuff will only work if there is if it's surrounded by software integrations and technology uh, from first touch point to last touch point. So e-commerce solutions and all this. This is what makes the, the printing world turn around these days. So talent for us is not just our, the old people with the old mindset mm -hmm. of talking about ink on paper. Uh, it, uh, there's actually room for a lot more younger talent with a different mind, a different kind of mindset around how do you make money on adding value and in I communication. Do think exactly, as you mentioned also in your, in your organizations and as we spoke about yesterday as well, like new people, attracting new people, and also the PSPs, they have exactly the same problems. We hear it all around. So I was wondering, Julia, also, like with Mikon and Technica, it's good to see that younger people like yourself are, are coming on board. And basically, uh, do you have more younger people also coming into your factory? You, you, you know what I was about, I thought you were about to ask? No. Um, I was just about to ask, was it by, uh, by a choice or by accident that you started in the industry? <laughs> I'll, let her, I'll, I'll let her answer. <laughs> Yes, in Mechanotechnica we are hiring now. Uh, we are searching for 17 people, young wow. people. Is it, yes. is it difficult? Is it difficult? Um, n not so you much. Different positions, I mean? Uh, different positions, but uh, mainly technicians. Like, uh, we have uh, so many orders uh, for 2023, and uh, we are working for 2024. Wow. So we have to build a lot of yeah, machines. Yeah. And there are a lot of young people uh, who want to learn, and we we are seeing uh, the results. And the older ones are um, are teaching us the um, uh, the right way. Yeah. Yes, they have the experience, and we are learning. Don't, I learn, see... don't learn too much from us old guys. Right? <laughs> Take your own skills along. Right? Yeah, or what do you say, Jacob? No, no. I, I think it is an important point, and I think that was part of me choosing. HP is like when you have talent on board, yeah. you need to make sure that you keep them, you know, they keep them motivated and keep growing them. And I think uh, for us at Leeds at HP, they are doing a great job of being that kind of organization that you want to be within forever, but still develop yourself. Uh, to have these growth plans and, and kind of strict routes to be successful continuously and be motivated. I think that is a, maybe a challenge for the industry as a whole to, yes, we can attract talent, but how do we keep them then? Yeah. Yeah. Are we sexy enough still as an industry? Because when we talk to yes, PSPs... Yes, you are sexy enough. No, I'm not yeah. talking about me. Uh, I know, I'm just joking. And don't but ask I mean, me, I've been here the for industry, 30 years Is it well, sexy so, uh, enough? Because we hear a lot of, let's say, complaints from PSPs having difficulties attracting young people to, to, to be interested in the, in the industry and to, to get them on board. So at HP, have you got like special programs, for example, to, to attract those people? Yes, definitely. Yeah. And also development programs. Yeah. So constantly with kind of growth path and... So that is defined for you and together I, with I you. I remember when you started that you were surprised about how organized the onboarding process was, right? Because, I mean, as you say, HP is such a vast organization. So, I mean, your organization is also big, but not as big as HP, of course, yeah. right? Yeah. I want to change this to topic a little bit because I know that we're all busy here. Uh, Julie, do you have time at all to go and see some of the other exhibitors here at the Innovation Days? Yeah, uh, of course. But um, during these days that are less visitors, I will make uh, a tour, mm -hmm. uh, a more specific tour in so the very stands. So you have ideas what you want to check out? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So yeah, here as well, the theme is, is, is connection automation, yeah. but I was wondering, you, as is there also been personal connections, you have, you've seen a lot of people, but are, 
Are there any different connections than before, you say, in the relationships that are being built here at, uh, at Hunkler? I think that after the COVID, uh, seeing each other is uh, a wonderful thing because um, you write a lot of emails, you create relationships, um, but um, through emails, through phone calls, through um, team meeting, mm -hmm. but um, when you see each other, you create another type of relationship. You see each other face to face and... Um, yeah, and I think here, here as well, I have the feeling, that's my personal opinion, that the, the relations being built here have, have a real meaning. Yeah. And I'm not saying that on, on other former uh, expos or, or shows that wasn't the case. But my personal opinion is that that but really is very open. But it's funny what you say because yeah. I expect actually, you're right, that when we have the physical thing, it's like really nice. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I also expect my LinkedIn uh, connections to grow, right? Because yes. we still want to have the electronic uh, connections with each other as well, right? So what is your, your, uh, your impression here, uh, Jacob? Uh, no, on, you on knew everybody in it. And you're, and, and you're a lot, no, I think that's... You mean that's, he's an old guy in the industry? Uh, no. <laughs> that's one of the benefits of having this like a condensed show. So the people are traveling here and they, they don't just spend half a day here, they spend two or three days here. And, and I, so, saw, I saw a report actually that every visitor here is an average two days. Yes. Which and is I quite know. amazing to think of, right? The, I think this gives you know, the, the audience the opportunity to go in have the, you know, the first impressions, get back in, ask the questions, and, and come back and have the discussions. And it gives, we have the benefit of being the first and the last one yeah. in the hall. So we meet them, we, sh we shake hands, we show the, the, uh, the solutions, they go and spend the day and they come back. And uh, I think that's a huge advantage compared to the other shows. Yeah, it's not bad if with. you even get the, the, the numbers of the halls wrong, it's just a step away. So. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Jacob, did you have time to go and see some uh, of the other exhibitors as well? Yes. Or? Yeah. yeah. And I, th I think this, this is part of my job. It's like because the customers, yeah, they need an output device, but they also need something to feed it. And they also need something afterwards when they have 10 kilometers, kilometers of print on that roll sitting there. They need something to finalize and ship it. So I think that is part of my job to make sure that we understand what comes after. Because only selling the output device it's not a solution. And it's funny when you say that because I can't help think about, you know, I think that in the older times it was like, okay, we have the printing thing and then we have like a very labor intensive finishing thing. But at this show here today, I mean, there is such a level of automation in all the binding solutions that it's almost impossible to believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've spent a lot of my career talking about bottlenecks and process optimization. And the bottlenecks used, I'll say, used to be kind of in estimation and pre-press and in post-press. Now, the bottlenecks that I see is in, in reconciliation and shipping. So it's Which going further down the, the, the chain. We, we are pushing, we are able to push volume so fast towards the manufacturing that now we are looking at, and I'm glad to say this, we are looking at solutions within reconciliation and shipping. But it's funny because if you see the development of the companies, if you see at Hunkler's booth, they have now started to build and develop uh, logistic solutions, right? So that is basically just uh, one of the answers to what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Well, guys, uh, I think we have to get to work. I mean, this was very cozy. We still have croissants. That apparently is not uh, easy to get rid of, right? No, no, but... <laughs> but they are not plastic. They are freshly oh, baked, yeah, yeah. so if you oh, like... Every day. Yeah. I, I would suggest we stick around for a couple of more minutes and finish our coffees anyway. Yeah. Right? Okay, thank you for a good chat. Thank and have you. a good day. So, uh, as a final note here, uh, Bonjour is a daily program from Inkish, uh, Jack and I hosting. Normally, we don't uh, tease each other as much as today, but I hope you bear you with us. You can take it. Yeah, I can take it. I can take a broad shoulders. But I just want to say thank you for the audience uh, who is watching this. I also want to thank you uh, both uh, uh, Julia and Jacob for being part of our uh, show today. And um, have a wonderful day, guys. <laughs>